Hey guys, today we'll be covering a 2020 romance miniseries called Touch Me If You Can. At the beginning of the film, a university student named Ari is making out with a guy. As things start to get steamy, Ari stops and pushes him away. As she does so, we see a wave of pink energy come off her palm. The confused guy asks her what happened, to which Ari replies that she is full. It is then disclosed that Ari is not a human being. She is actually a succubus, a supernatural deity who seduces men and women and eats up their energy to survive. She gains energy from physical touches such as a handshake or a high five, but she likes to make out with people to suck as much energy as she can at once. Ari is also the most popular girl in her university. She has gathered enough dating experience for the past 200 years of her life and can have any man she wants. She is frequently surrounded by a flock of young and handsome guys competing with each other to gain her attention. Although Ari is generally very particular about her choices, when it comes to men, she enjoys all their attention. For the same reason, she is especially hated by the other girls in the university who make up rumors about her. The most recent rumor has it that she dated a professor for good grades. Ari is not naive and knows everything about the jealous girls, but after years of competing against many of them, she has settled on flirting with them instead. While in class, a group of three girls is complaining about their damaged hair when Ari walks in, flexing her shiny hair. She takes it as an opportunity to be their friend and gives them a special conditioner that she uses. The simple gesture is enough to steal the girls' hearts and make them fawn over her. After the class, they invite her over for dinner and gush about how cute she is. After yet another day of seducing, Ari is happily about to return home when something unpredictable happens. A guy touches her shoulder to get her attention, but his energy is so intense that Ari's eyes glow red. Her heart skips a beat before she even sees his face and is disappointed to see he is wearing a mask. The guy's name is Chi Wu, and he is an introverted germaphobe. With the COVID-19 pandemic spreading rapidly, he is there to hand the girls a mask for their protection. Ari simply holds on to one and is too stunned to say anything. They watch him distribute the mask to other people around until he goes out of their sight. Ari smiles, hoping to seduce him and drink up all his energy. Even at home, all she can think about is Chi Wu and his energy. Suddenly, he appears in her room, this time without a mask. He confidently tells Ari that she is smart and asks her to guess why he is there. By now, it is clear to her that he is not a human, but an incubus, the male version of a succubus. Chi Wu doesn't try to hide the fact and claims that she got him. He then tries to kiss her, but Ari knows it's to steal her energy. She quickly stops him, threatening him to stay away from her. But then, she remembers that she can teach him a lesson by drinking his energy. She tries to kiss him back, but Chi Wu quickly wears a mask and saves himself. Suddenly, Ari wakes up in her bed, realizing that everything she talked about to Chi Wu was only a dream. This instantly ruins her mood, and she slugs the entire day. Her fanboys notice her strange behavior and try to cheer her up, but there is only one person who can make her feel better today. Moreover, the pandemic brings bad news for Ari, as people no longer want to make physical contact. Even the guys who once used to beg her for a date are now shying away from her because she doesn't wear a mask. Ari goes to the coffee shop where she usually touches the barista's hand to recharge, but this time, he is wearing gloves. Later in class, she is sulking and barely paying attention until Chi Wu appears and introduces himself as a new student. Ari mixes up her dream with reality and yells at him for trying to seduce her as an incubus. She is confident in her claims until the teacher yells at her to sit down. For the entire class, she stares at Chi Wu, contemplating if he is human or not. After class, she runs into him and asks him what he is. She holds his wrist to continue making a point, but his energy distracts her, making her eyes glow red yet again. Overwhelmed by the interaction, she falls unconscious and wakes up in the nurse's room. This makes Ari realize that Chi Wu must be a human since he didn't attack her when she was unconscious. Still curious about his energy, she sits beside him in the library and starts talking to him. Chi Wu is clearly not interested in her, but Ari is so used to men fawning over her that the idea of someone being indifferent doesn't even cross her mind. She just assumes that he is shy and dismisses his silence. Ari is especially happy that he carried her to the nurse's room when in reality, he dragged her across the floor. Chi Wu doesn't correct her and simply changes his seat. Ari takes this as a challenge and does everything in her power to spend more time with him. During recess, she pretends to be carrying a heavy box and whines, hoping that he will offer to help, but all he does is wish her good luck. She declares him 0% gullible and moves on to a more straightforward plan. Later that day, she corners him to the wall and tells him that she likes him. Even though the chair she is on makes the confession less intimidating, she stays adamant. To her surprise, Chi Wu calls her disgusting for not wearing a mask and walks away. In her 200 years of experience, Ari has never had a man reject her so brutally, but the rejection only makes her more determined to have him. At lunch, one of Ari's friends asks her why she's so into Chi Wu. Ari finds out that the entire university has seen her hitting on him and thinks that she's a weirdo. She thinks about it for a second before deciding to tell her friends about her true self. 
But just before she does, her friend shrieks in happiness because physical classes have been canceled starting the next day. They will have to take online classes, which means Ari will no longer get to meet more guys and suck their energies. To a succubus like her, no physical class is bad news. On his way home, Chibu sees a couple making out by the side of the road. The man falls unconscious, but instead of helping him, the woman smiles and walks towards Chibu. He suddenly wakes up in his bed, thankful that it was just a dream. He also gets the news about the online classes, but unlike Ari, he is excited. In the meantime, Ari is looking for jobs in frontline services so she can make as much interaction with humans as possible. However, it is very difficult to get a job during the pandemic. Even her skin and hair has gotten dull because of the lack of nutrients. Then, Ari remembers the magical conditioner which gives her an idea. She makes a video about the conditioner's quality and posts it on the internet. Many people message her back wanting to buy it, and Ari gains a meal's worth of energy by shaking their hands when she delivers the conditioners. Still, to someone like Ari who is used to eating full course meals, the handshakes are like free samples. When she runs out of conditioner, she decides to sell her antique gaming gadgets, which are worth more money. Somewhere else, Chi Wu is enjoying his life to the fullest, playing video games the entire day and living off ramen. To an introvert like him, online classes are a blessing. Then one day, he sees an advertisement for a used antique gadget at a reasonable price. He doesn't think twice before contacting the person and going to meet them. The person turns out to be none other than Ari. She is in shock to see him out of nowhere, but to her horror, Chiwu doesn't even recognize her at first. Nonetheless, Ari is excited to drink his energy through the handshake, but he asks her to keep the bag aside because he doesn't want to touch people during the pandemic. Ari's face drops, but she does as told. Then, Chiwu tries to transfer the money through his phone, and she insists on putting her phone number in herself. When even that doesn't work, she takes a deeper measure and bites his arm. A shocked Chiwu asks her what she is doing, but she dismisses him and claims that she will give him the gadgets for free, but in turn, he will have to meet her tomorrow. Chiwu insists that he would rather just pay, but Ari refuses to take the money. In the end, he agrees, and they decide to meet again the next day. In the following scene, the two are playing a video game and are teamed up with each other. When Ari loses, she blames him and demands he take her out on a coffee date. Chi Wu isn't interested in spending any more time with her, but he reluctantly has to agree. They go to a cafe where she also orders the cheesecake in order to spend more time with him. The barista mistakes them for a couple, which makes Ari's heart race. She thinks about it for a second before deciding to go along with the assumption, but before she can say anything, Chi Wu corrects the man. Following that, they continue eating and engaging in an awkward one-sided conversation. Ari notices a couple feeding each other and tries to do the same to Chi Wu. Surprisingly enough, he eats the cake and offers her a bite at her request. Just when Ari thinks she has him on her side, he asks her to eat quickly so he can go home. After coffee, Chi Wu walks out while Ari follows him. He wants to return home, but she insists they continue their date further since she is giving him gaming gadgets in return. Suddenly, Chi Wu halts in his tracks and asks Ari to stop. She inquires what is wrong, to which Chi Wu replies that she is giving him too much attention, acting like they are dating and such. He declares that she shouldn't waste people's time if she doesn't like them, and refuses to buy the gaming set. He is about to leave, but Ari stops him and reveals that she actually likes him. She apologizes for forcing him to talk to her and promises to leave him alone. However, by now, Chi Wu has changed his mind. He thought she was just playing games with him as she does with everyone else in the university. But after finding out that she is really interested in him, he is ready to give her a chance. They go to the university project room to watch a movie since the theaters are closed. While they are at it, Ari realizes that this might be a moment she will miss in the future. She thanks Chi Wu for hanging out with her, even though it was for the gaming console. Chi Wu clarifies that he did it because he needed to go out after so long of being stuck in the house. Although they didn't get to hold hands, Ari is happy in the end. Sometime later comes a scene where the characters are kissing. Ari takes the opportunity to lean towards Chi Wu, but he turns around and starts coughing. She thinks she made him uncomfortable and apologizes. Then, Chi Wu walks her to her house and she invites him in for ramen. He agrees and they spend the next two hours playing games and eating ramen together. Everything goes well until they get into a playful argument and end up a little too close. Ari is inches away from Chi Wu when he starts to cough yet again. He then reveals that he never liked to kiss and always coughed at the thought of it. For the same reason, he has never had a girlfriend. Ari apologizes and assures him that it is not abnormal for people to not like kissing. Then, Chi Wu asks her to reveal her secret, now that she knows his. Ari tells him to say no if he doesn't like what she is doing. When Chi Wu remains quiet, she leans down and kisses him. Suddenly, the scene cuts away to the next day. Chi Wu wakes up in his bed and is in a good mood, but doesn't remember anything that happened last night. At uni, he sees Ari and asks her to be his friend. 
It is very unlikely for him to approach a girl, but he is glad when she agrees and complains about being popular. The show ends as they walk to class together.